see if this is gonna work here. All right, so. This is my first time I'm doing this thing. Uh, it was just an idea that I had, kind of random. This music is called a uh, Highway Girl, by the way. <laughs> just sounded kind of cool. Anyway, uh, been thinking about doing a channel called Deal Zones Shopper. Better name coming soon, I'm sure. But um, I religiously check a few camera deals, and this is a nightly thing. And I just figure I'd invite you to uh, shop with me if you like. You know, just jump on board and uh, and. Uh, I just wanted to walk through some of the camera deals that I browse. I also look at uh, just a few other things, but um, I'm going to try to talk through my um, thought process as I look at some of these things. I got to turn off this music. Um, so yeah, just the idea here is to go through some of the deal zones that I shop through on a daily basis. And then um, let's see here. I'm gonna try to bring up my Facebook, see if this is actually going live somewhere. I don't check it out. So, yeah, feel free to comment, uh, ask me any questions as I go along here, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of guide you through what I think is a good deal, what is not a good deal here, um, and and yeah. So here we go. So the first thing I check out every night, 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, because it, it happens in the East Coast uh, at midnight. Um, is B and H Deal Zone okay? So this is specifically for, well, I guess I guess not. It's I use it for camera gear mostly, camera, uh, video photography, film equipment, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's also deals uh, a lot have to do with like TV screens, phones, stuff like that, uh, monitors that you can use, etc. So um, I'm just gonna bounce from B and H Deal Zone to Adorama, and then. Uh, I might check out one other thing, uh, but we'll see here. So yeah, shoot me your questions uh, as we roll along, and um, let's go. So let's go jump into B and H, and B and H is um, it's a fantastic store. Uh, if you haven't, or if you don't know what it is, it's just a huge camera store. It's in New York City. Um, I've been to it several times at the physical location to to look at professional film gear. Uh, you know touch and feel it in person but um it's a great it's a great store it's pretty impressive um but um in my professional career i've purchased over i want to say over a hundred thousand dollars worth of camera gear uh, and and uh is, you know mainly for my roles uh that i played as a content creator so wow this is three minutes long already thanks for hanging in there uh <laughs> so let's let's jump in really quick so Browsing B and H, okay. So right up here, you'll see that there's a flash deal. Uh, I hope you can see that to the top. There's a timer right there. Um, usually it says Deal Zone. I don't know why mine doesn't say that, but here we go. Here's Deal Zone. So I bring this thing up here and check it out. Actually, there's some pretty good stuff here. Sometimes, I mean, I don't know. I want to say most of the time there's some. It's it's kind of dry. It's like I don't get excited about some things. But holy cow, there's some stuff in here. Um, and by the way, I'm going to try to do this every time without looking uh, before I jump in here. So you get this, you, you're getting this raw. Here we go. So here we go. Peak Design Everyday Messenger 15 inch version one. All right, guys. So I swear by Peak Design in many regards. So Peak, and, and we actually have two of their backpacks, and they're the version ones, I believe. Maybe not the version twos. Um, I actually have one right here. <laughs> all right so oh and i guess i can bring you back to my screen oh uh, let's figure this out all right so yeah i swear by peak design this is the uh 30 liter backpack and we also have the 20 liter backpack um and they are super high quality and they have just thought out everything to do with with their bags and things um from their their latch latching mechanism Oh, like um, it's very secure like you're not going to get this thing open TSA has a hard time and they often ask me if I can open my own backpack when they get it they're like how do I do so you pull it open slide it down and pull it up uh, you can expand this top section to where it is just just overflowing um, and uh, now, it's, now it's a product review 
<laughs> I'm just so anyway. I just I just swear by this. Um, also, looking at the if you know if I open the side, I don't know what's in here. By the way, uh, looks like my film camera. Everything's designed so well. My mic is falling all over the place. But they have these foldable things here. This is hilarious. But everything about it is just great. Anyway, great design. They're very rugged. Cleans up really easily. Um, and because their backpacks are so good, we've actually gone ahead and we have gotten a lot more stuff. So we've, we've, we've got the camera clip. We've got a wrist strap. We've got their anchor systems. Um, but that is a good deal, I think. $99.95. If you've thought about Peak Design, this might be one to jump on. I would look at the differences between the versions. Um, but a 15-inch laptop compartment. Um, you know, this is the over-shoulder strap. And I believe that this one has a waist strap as well. So you actually can throw it over your shoulder and put a waist strap on. So these these uh, these segments here can be moved around all throughout the compartment. They fold down. Um, they're just great. Uh, some people, I don't know. Yeah, so these are, it's like origami here. And that's kind of the thought behind it is they're somewhat modular. You can put a lens up top with another one underneath it or... I put a camera in there and a lens on the other side, etc. So the messenger bag, I mean, it does look kind of big for 15 inch, but yeah, here's this guy, secure clamps and stuff. And they think everything out. They've got like secure zippers and stuff. Um, the, the attach points here are very solid, very durable. Um, I love them. Anywho, I think that's a great deal. If I didn't have Peak Design right now, I would, I would buy this. Uh, cause I know, I know it's such a, they're such a good product. Um, cool. Let's jump back looking at this stuff. I mean, you get this kind of things all the time. If you're looking for a thumb drive, I mean, it's some, this is, this is a deal zone. They just kind of throw whatever out there. And I wonder if it's, I don't know for sure, but I wonder if it's, you know, a lot of overstock stuff that they try to get rid of. Um, flash drive. I'm not going to talk about that thing. Um, I guess, I guess on flash drives, if you're looking at flash drives, you got to be aware of their read and write speed. Um, because you don't want to get one that's going to take forever to load anything on there. Um, I've had very, I've had a lot at work that they're like, Oh, can you drop this document on there? And it's like a PowerPoint and it takes a long time to put on there. But if you're going to buy a flash drive, just know the read and write speeds. Selfie ring light with 24 inch gooseneck. Holy moly. What is this? And cell phone holder. Okay, guys, I don't know what scenario you would need this in. Um, oh, dude, I'm getting some comments here. Blaine, thank you, man. You you are hot in your your videos. If you have, if you don't know, like Blaine Blaine started a YouTube channel too, uh, and you should go check it out. Really cool stuff, Blaine Garner. Plus, amazing musician. He and I were in a band in uh, college. So that's great. Um, Daniel Art, I'm trying to get you all those deals. And Tatiana. Yes, I'm going to look at the Pelican case in just a minute. So, selfie ring light with goose gooseneck stand and cell phone holder. That is unique. And what is going on here? White, warm yellow. I wonder if it's one light that turns all these different colors. It's $15. Um, if you're big into cell phone video, this looks just so unique. I don't know what in the world you would use this for um that light output cannot be that amazing <laughs> and and i guess scott I got, i'll take you through my thought process here um and kind of what i do when i'm looking for something right so f first thing is i look for reviews this has got nothing um there's no reviews on it uh very little output and cell phones typically need a lot of light to look really good so I mean, there's, there's that to think of. Um, and then this clamp looks, I mean, there's, there's, as someone who uses a, a decent amount of clamps in my work, um, you really get, need a good, a good clamp. This is just like a squeeze on thing. That's not going to grip a table. Well, that's not going to grip a visor. Well, I don't, maybe a visor, but like you're going <laughs> to, this is just such a strange thing. Um, 
be be a little leery of cell phone lights and things you'll always want to make sure that you cross-reference to like look look for reviews on youtube and such for to buy that i've spent way too much time here on this thing not exciting maybe i should uh take this video is kind of take it through like what's most exciting first and then go through them i don't know if i need to go through all of them all right time code systems sync bar pro time code sync system for gopro hero for what in the world Holy cow. All right. So when you're using time code, right? And wow, Hero 4 was just so long ago. But um, in my career, we I've, I've actually sent a lot of GoPros to the graves. Um, actually have, uh, we used to purchase, I think the last order was over 100 GoPros uh, where I used to work. Um, and we used to use them to capture fire footage. And if we thought that something would be worth getting the GoPro a little close to the fire and, you know, burn it, then, uh, then we would actually do it for the sake of the research. Um, so I guess this could be kind of handy. I mean, this is time code sync. Uh, usually you do that with your cameras on set. Um, if you've seen the clapper boards, you know, before they say action, um, that, you know, a lot of that's used to sync up the sound, any, any additional cameras on set. Um, and so I can see how this could be beneficial if you were using these in a very professional production. So that's very interesting to me. Um, I think it's a very special use thing, but that is just, that is just so unique. <laughs> Looking at different photos here. Um, but if you're still rocking a, a Hero 4, like, Good for you. There, there has been some dramatic improvements to other uh, GoPros. That I would highly encourage you upgrade and get rid of your GoPro Four. But I mean, I have a five, and it works. So, I guess whatever you're into. <laughs> okay, spotting scope, Vortex Razor HD. So you're saving three hundred and fifty dollars here. I don't know too much about spotting scopes, so um. Yeah, I might just leave one here. <clears throat> Actually, spotting scopes are pretty cool and they're pretty useful. Like, I think I think they're more useful. I'm finding more useful use for them as I'm getting older. <clears throat> so, uh, my wife and I were actually in um, we were out in Yellowstone a while ago and stumbled upon a group of people using spotting scopes. And uh, we were in Lamar Valley and we're like, "Hey, have you guys found anything cool?" And they're like, "Well, what do you want to see?" And I'm like, "I want to see a wolf." And they're like, "All right, yeah." I've got a wolf right here in the spotting scope. Somebody, and then he's like, and there's a bear over there and there's an elk down here. And there's, there's just everything. It was just amazing. And with a spotting scope, you can see it all. So that's really cool. Um, and then they also have cell phone adapters that you can put on a lot of these spotting scopes. Um, quality wasn't great out of those things, but still pretty cool. Um, so if you're into spotting scopes, I mean, this is $350 off. I don't know anything about vortex. Um, wish I did more though. I'll have to go talk to my dad. He's, he's a collector of those things. All right. Film city adventure rig kit for black magic cinema camera. I instantly think what cinema camera, and it looks like, holy smokes, like the black magic cinema camera that was, I don't know, 2012. <laughs> so, so this is an interesting one. Um, film city, I can't tell you about the quality of their product, but it's two stars. So, I mean, if you got a Blackmagic cinema camera, also good for you. Uh, it's still, still a cheap raw. I mean, it's still, still a usable camera, but um, yeah, there's a shoulder rig if you need it. And, and just talking about shoulder rigs too, like I've used a lot and such an interesting system here um, where you've got the camera like this is going to go on your shoulder. Oh man. Camera. Turn it off on me. Yeah, if this thing's going to go on your shoulder. You've got a really strange placement of the camera like right in front of your face and the the screens on those black magic cameras weren't very amazing to begin with. Um so there's there's a kind of a needed solution for your eyes anyway, like a hood or a an attached viewfinder piece or something like that. So um it comes with a follow focus. Matte box. I mean, like, if your budget 
like really really restricted by your budget and you're rocking one of those cameras shoot man like i've got a really cheap um shoulder uh rig kind of like that um that i still actually use pieces of today so you know buy for cheap use it a lot kind of disguise it so nobody really knows what you've got there but uh let's check this next thing out all right we've got pelican and i just barely bought a pelican case um i bought the 1510 which is uh you know it fits in the in the uh, airline compartment up top and i'm gonna rig it out to you know have all the lenses and my cameras in it and stuff and and pelican you you can't go wrong with pelican um never seen anything bad about one this is 56 dollars off it's without foam um the 1670 i don't have that size um but it looks kind of shallow and really tall so that's an interesting one here um, yeah, and it doesn't come with anything. Oh, you can, you can do with foam. Sometimes in these deal zones, by the way, you can check these out and they have on an option. And sometimes when you switch the option, there's still a deal as part of it. Um, so be aware of that. Like if you're, if you're like, oh man, that, that looks cool, but not quite what I want. Like you can click back and forth here. Um, anywho, a Pelican's amazing without foam i mean you're looking at buying this and then adding like a trek pack insert would be a good one um or if you're into the pick and pluck foam you can you can buy that but i mean you're you're saving the money and it seems like you're just leaving out the foam because i mean that's that's really expensive like a trek pack insert that's customizable stuff to throw in here is going to cost you over a hundred dollars anyway so um it's an okay deal plus i mean i probably use that for like tripods and things or like light stands um, kind of a longer gear, maybe like a, I'm using a light dome, uh, soft box. So maybe like a taller soft box. So if you have longer, longer gear, this, you're going to need a lot of protection and that's fine. Um, I would look at the Pelican air stuff though, if you're going to travel with it. Um, I've used a couple big Pelican air cases and they are light and they're still durable. Um, so this is, this is an okay deal if you're looking to save and you're looking at this particular case, but man, this thing looks so rugged. I don't know. Maybe not for me. All right, guys. So that is B and H deal zone. Uh, I like to point out too that well, you can see kind of what they've got going on here too. They show you what kind of past deals there are. So if you're new to this, you can look and see what kind of stuff they they throw out at deal zone. Um, and then you can actually come down here and click on more deals. You, you view all deals here, uh, and you can cruise whatever they've got that's at a discounted price. And sometimes. Sometimes I've stumbled upon some really good deals. Uh, they've got an Aperture 120D2 in here somewhere right now, I think. Um, like here, if you're looking at smartphone gimbals, I mean, that's a decent price. Anything that you find on DealZone, deal zone, though, cross-reference it. Go to Adorama, go to Amazon, look at the same price, and it may just be on their deal zone as a discounted price, and you'll find that they just threw it on deal zone, and it's the same everywhere. Like Pelican's just having a big sale. Uh, because I think I bought my last Pelican from Adorama and it was just like, you know, like a pretty wide sale. Dude, you guys, this video is going to be over 20 minutes. I got to figure this out. It's going to be way too long. All right. So I'm going to go to Adorama. Now Adorama has got a, a kind of a deal zone too, but theirs is not as robust and I don't get excited as much over these ones. Um, Oh, I'm I'm hearing that my video ended. All right, I'm gonna keep cruising because I'm I'm still seeing live. Um, and let's try this out. So, if you click on one of these deals, it usually takes you to all three of them. Um, and this is the Movo Pro MPSS4 Rapid Camera Sling. All right. Camera straps, man, and I'm gonna make a video about camera straps um, and quick, like quick use systems because, uh, you know, it's it's. <laughs> I don't know what to compare it to, but it's really like there's so much that goes on there that 
there's so many options with camera slings and straps and things like that, that, um, there's so many options and I swear by the, I have got a spider camera holster and it's a holster that you clip on your waist. Uh, and that's my favorite because I can get it in and out of the way. Um, this, a lot of photographers use these straps, camera sling strap, man, why are there no other pictures here? Like, I can't tell if this is just one strap that goes side to side or if this is like a sling that drops down by your side. Cause if you look at some options here, uh, and this is only saving $7, but, um, yeah, the neck strap that you wear around your neck with a lot of the cameras, they just come with this neck strap. That is just my nightmare. Uh, I hate using it unless I have a really light camera. Uh, cause you bend over and do anything. The camera's just like swaying around and banging into stuff. Um, so if you're a professional photographer, you need a solution for that. And some of it is a harness that goes around your chest and then the slings come down, down your sides and it makes it really easy to grab your camera and go and whatnot. But, um, I don't know this shiny Chrome stuff with that kind of a turning wheel looks deadly to me. Like I would, I would buy this if I wanted my camera to fall and break honestly. And I've never heard of Movo. This is my personal opinion, by the way, I'm not getting paid <laughs> for anything here. Uh, anyways, moving on here. Camera tripod. Oh, I don't see the tripod, but I see the 360 ball head. Um, another thing too here is like, there are so many different brands of video gear out there. And you really got to be careful. Like, this looks really nice. Oh, this is the tripod. Holy cow. This is like a Ronin tripod on the bottom of... Anyway, so this one's interesting. I don't know that I'd invest in it for $24, $25. I'd look at like a Manfrotto if you're looking for a small one. Like a Manfrotto with a ball head because Manfrotto is a really good brand. I've had a couple um, ball heads like this that the top just like pops right off. It's either just super glued on there um, or it's just really cheap. So if you've got something super lightweight to throw on there, I guess you're okay if you really need a ball head for something. But that for a DSLR, I don't know. Again, I'm looking at reviews um, and there's there's no one that's reviewed this. Uh, and maybe I should modify these videos so I don't talk about everything for so long. Tokina Opera, first this is Canon EF. All right, so Tokina, I don't use Tokina a lot. I try to stick with uh, brands for my lenses that are specific to the, the camera itself. And that's for a number of reasons. And build quality is one of them. Like I'm a Canon guy, so I use Canon lenses because uh, it fits my camera system. And the communication between the lens and the camera uh, is perfect. Um, when you start throwing strange brands into the scene, like I've experienced times where there's been a miscommunication between the lens and the camera it doesn't really know how to focus that kind of stuff i haven't used tokina a lot but i do use sigma lenses some we do have a sigma lens in our kit um but again like when you're looking at this stuff you got to look at um you know you got to look at all of the uh reviews and options out there before you invest you know a lot of money into this is a 16 to 28 which is a decent range um you're going to get a wild, a wild, a wide field of view here. It's 2.8. Um, I don't know. I would look up some reviews there. Uh, see what that's like. So anyway, guys, that's, 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 I can't talk. Those are the camera deals. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to check this out just about every night, um, you know, that I'm home. I might just throw this on to live and, and see what happens. Uh, B&H Deal Zone, they have, um, they've got a flash deal here that, that ends and this might recycle. Sometimes their flash deals recycles and this one says it's going to last for 17 hours. Um, sometimes during B&H holidays though, Yom Kippur, they've got, I mean, some long holidays sometimes. And they tell you when they're going to be back, when they're going to be unavailable. But these deals are going to be live for 50 hours. I mean, that's a long time. So you got some time to sit on these, but usually it's like a 24-hour turnaround. So 
anyways if you made it this far bless your soul uh i'll have to plan on not doing this for 30 minutes every night and uh yeah let me know if you watched any of the uh things you like to see or unsee <laughs> give me your suggestions and uh these these will probably go uh, up onto a YouTube channel. I've started another another channel called Deal Zones Shopper, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys. Maybe not tomorrow because there's 50 hours on these Deal Zones. I'll catch you on the next Deal Zone. Okay, guys, see ya.